I've looked on the internet at wheels for workmates and I didn't like any of the ones that I saw. They're not bad designs, they're just not the design that I want. I want to keep the space underneath the workmate. I still want to be able to fold the legs up on the workmate. And the designs I've seen either are a box on wheels that the workmate sits on and whilst you can lock the casters I'm not convinced that that will give you a very rigid base and you also lose the advantage of having the splayed legs which give you a, a more stable base if, if it's sitting on wheels. The other option I've seen is a very clever design that goes underneath the workmate and has a single wheel for moving the workmate around. I really like that design but it doesn't suit my needs because I can't fold the legs up when I want to. The last design isn't suitable either and that's one where the workmate becomes a trolley so that you can move it around. My workmate doesn't really leave my workshop but I would like to be able to push it around the workshop and get it out of the way and it needs to be easy. I don't want to be going around all four corners um, locking casters and I've already said the reasons why I don't really want the casters permanently on the ground. So my version still allows me to fold the workmate up still allows me to use the workmate at both of its heights and when the workmate is in use and not on its wheels it's solidly on the ground. I've already cut the parts to size but they all need shaping. There are four of these parts they will become the sides that the legs for the casters will be mounted on. I'm using my old bandsaw that I rescued and restored and then updated to add dust collection. I glued these sides to another strip of wood that I'd ripped to size using the bandsaw. This will form the main body of the wheel mechanism. These are the legs that the casters will be mounted to. They need drilling so that they can be connected to the sides using a bolt and rounding over so that the mechanism doesn't foul. Little did I realise the mistake I'd made. I made four identical legs cutting them on the bandsaw and shaping them on the belt sander until I was satisfied. I'm going to call it a day today. I've made all these pieces wrong. The hole is supposed to be here and the curve is supposed to be round there. So I'm going to have to remake all of these pieces. So I remade all the pieces the following day, cutting them from a piece of 6x2 I had laying around. So I've glued up the extra on either side so that it's thick enough to take the caster. And I'm now going to sand them down and uh, make them a bit more presentable. I now need to, to glue these end pieces in, this will just give the frame a bit more rigidity at each end and you're probably starting to see how this is going to work. So you've got these legs that fold up like this that the casters are going on but you might be thinking what's going to stop it from um, closing in on itself and I'll show you why that's not going to happen later. The wheels will be fixed to the frame, but first I need to add a filler piece to provide more surface area to fix to. This is attached to the frame of the bottom shelf on the workmate. Here I'm doing an assembly test, checking everything will work as expected. I'll cut 2x4 to replace the cardboard later. The idea is the hinged wood will push the feet apart, lowering the casters below the level of the workmate feet and thus raising it off of its legs and onto the casters. In the dry run this seemed to work fine. I marked up the positions of the screw holes on the piano hinge and drilled pilot holes. It may not be obvious yet what this hinge is for, all will become clear later. I then temporarily fixed the hinge with a few screws. I'm going to sand and paint everything later, so these temporary screws 
are just to check the mechanism works correctly. I then temporarily fixed an up and over latch. The top piece of wood will be fixed to the underside of the workmate frame. And the piano hinge and latch allow for folding the wheel mechanism out of the way when using the workmate with the legs folded up or when folding the workmate up entirely for storage. Then using the wood vise attached to my workmate, I fix the casters to the legs. I then marked up where the wheel mechanism was going to fix to the workmate frame and piloted the holes. Having piloted the holes in the workmate frame, I attach the top part of the wheel mechanism to the workmate. Note this part is lower than the short legs on the workmate so that it won't get in the way when using it with the legs folded up. Here's a quick demonstration of how this works. You only need to use this part of the mechanism to fold up the workmate or to use it in the lower position with the legs folded up. I made several attempts to fit the deployment mechanism in the space between the casters but all failed so I went for what turned out to be a much simpler mechanism using some 2mm thick, that's about a sixteenth of an inch, aluminium sheet which I cut on my bandsaw using a 40 teeth per inch blade. Now I had all the parts made, I prepared them for painting using the sanding block I'd made to level my budget mitosaur bed and an orbital sander. The dust collection on the orbital sander is rubbish, so I did this with the windows open. I'll get round to fixing the dust collection in a future video. I painted everything matte black for final assembly. The paint I'm using is Rustin's Matte Black for cast iron and wood. I hope I can get some more, this pot was 20 years old and I really like how well it applies to the wood. With everything painted I could now assemble all the parts ready for fitting onto the workmate. So with the workmate packed away, these fold in and it takes up no more space than it would normally. At its lowest position, the wheels still don't get in the way from the workmate and it's sitting on its original short legs. In the high position with the wheels disengaged, the workmate is sitting on its original legs, so it's nice and solid. I can engage the wheels by pushing this down, just lift the workmate up slightly. Do the same the other side, and now it's on wheels. With the workmate fully loaded, then it's really difficult to move. You know, I can move it, but it is really heavy. If I engage the wheels, really easy to move. If you've enjoyed this video please give it the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this then please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Shortly after I made this video one of the legs broke and it's broken along the grain so I think I even need to use the same wood but have the grain going in this direction which will make it stronger or make them out of plywood so I'll fix that now but I'm only really mentioning it so that you don't make the same mistake <laughs>